Okay, now let's see how uh, do this bidirectional information exchange between Microsoft Excel and Bentley Open Buildings Designer. I'm going back here to my 3D model, the same work set, and my schedules are here. I'm going back to the space schedule of this uh, coffee corner that I've created. So, uh, for example, during a design review, I've noticed that uh, the spaces numbering don't follow a, a pattern or a, a logical uh, standard. So I'd like to fix this in an Excel file. Of course, this could be done in Open Buildings Designer, but uh, another person could be doing this task. For example, I can create an Excel exchange and another person could be working in this task of renumbering or adding another properties codification and any kind of ed editing. And then I can update the data from Excel to open buildings. To do this, I will just click here and say edit in Excel. Uh, their uh, open buildings creates an Excel file and it opens automatically. Note here that there are some, some properties in OpenBuildings that I cannot edit. For example, the Omniclass description here, it's grayed out because I cannot edit these values, uh, but the classification I can. So there is a, uh, another properties, other properties that I can, and there is uh, properties that I cannot. So Excel reflects this uh, with read-only cells. Here, for example, if I hover over my, my cursor here, I see this uh, cell is read-only. Okay, so I would like to renumber um, all my, my spaces, but they are not sorted uh, yet in a logical sequence. So I'm going back to my schedule, close this file, don't save, and here I will add uh, a couple of properties here to reorganize these spaces before renaming them. So I go to properties and I add in here the logical property of the of the file. Let me show this. Uh, why I put in this logical number. When I'm federating these, these files in, in this model, I use the, the logical description related to the, the floor of the building. For example, the grocery here is located at the ground floor, so it receives the number zero. Uh, there is a grocery in the mezzanine and the first floor, the second floor, uh, until the top of the building. So I'm adding this logical property to the schedule now I can export it again to reorganize my, my schedule sorted by the logical name. Okay. And now Excel exchange again, edit in Excel. It automatically opens and note that uh, logical is not a um, editable property as well. So I'm just uh, consider now that it's already organized in the sequence that I that I would like to, to renumber all my spaces. And I will simply renumber here with a new pattern called, for example, S for spaces and more three digits to the number S001. And I will be renumbering and changing the number uh, of all these spaces. Now I can say save in Excel close the file and in open buildings designer i can simply say here update from excel it prompts me to choose the file i will choose the last one that i've added and now 
it's updating with all the information. Um, it warns me that I'm uh, making changes in reference files. Uh, I can choose skip references or if, if, if I had, for example, some instances of, at the active file, now it's uh, all the changes that I want to do uh, are in the reference file. So I will choose here, apply all, and it's updating all these pieces, processing all elements. It just takes some seconds to update all the, the spaces in all of the reference files in my federated model. Okay. I just say close here. It's populating again my schedule. And here all my spaces are renumbered with that sequence that I that I that I choose before. And it reflects it's it's reflected in in each uh, model in my federated beauty, uh, even in, in the reference files, of course. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.